the announcement table. You are the Steve panel of Cloud Threads for casting for this audition thing. Like, I like just the music from a lot of things. That's a smart answer. <laughs> <laughs> Symposium was just amazing. It really allowed me to branch out into things I probably otherwise wouldn't have done. Three, four, five. It's an opportunity that we get here that you don't really get anywhere else. So it's a really good opportunity for us to learn about our art and how to be better artists. You've got the sass. Just, just, just put it into the character sass. Yeah. We got to do this freshman year. I was honestly kind of scared that we wouldn't get to do it again. And then we did get to do it again. And I was so, I was so excited that we got to do this again. All right. We were able to resume our annual symposium day. Of course, this is an annual event, but was sort of on hiatus last year because of the COVID pandemic. It's a day long, masterclass workshop session for our performing arts students, the students in dance, musical theater, and theater all get to be excused from their regular academic classes and instead partake in a series of classes with industry professionals here in the greater Richmond area to give the students a taste of what it's like outside of their normal disciplines. You want to bend that knee, try to get that knee up to your chest, and then you're going to go on the ball of your foot. Down, up. And the first class I had was hip hop. I'm definitely not a dancer. Um, there are definitely dancers. There were so many in my class and they were amazing. We had an amazing hip hop class with an amazing hip hop teacher. And it really, it really got me hyped up. Like I really enjoyed myself. It got my blood pumping, but I was around other experienced and non-experienced dancers. And it helped me feel like I'm learning something new. This one, it's kind of like that. It's just a little bit more intricate. So if you have trouble, don't worry about it. In musical theater, we do kind of everything. Front, back, there you go. Try to get a little faster. We don't really do hip hop dancing though. That's it. That's it. So it was really fun to like kind of branch out and do like a different style of dancing in certain disciplines, you don't get to have a taste of what other people like to do. Like, I can't sing like the musical theater kids, but I also got to do vocal coaching, which kind of helped me step into a different perspective other than my own. That's not a worthy explanation. I know there is none. Nothing can make sense of all these things I've done. I took vocal coaching class, which was literally amazing. He gave me some great tips. So how do we make higher pitches? How do we make lower pitches? Does, does anybody know this answer? Yes, exactly. Have you ever seen a guitar? Anyone ever seen a guitar? Yeah. Yeah. Are the lower strings fatter or skinnier than the high strings? Fatter. Fatter, okay. So what's happening is our vocal folds have just gotten a little bit thicker. And so that, I think, is what you're feeling. And then my last class of the day was show business, and he taught us about like the different aspects of um, behind the scenes of a show. Many community theaters don't pay anything, right? It's, pe it's work that people do because they really like doing theater. They like being together with a group of uh, people who are working on a show together. They like to have their friends come and see them perform. But it's not a career to them. It's what's called avocational theater. I took clowning, which was new to me, and I really liked it. Uh, I've been looking to get into physical comedy for a bit, and I got into it finally. Maybe your clown has a name, maybe your clown does not. It's all about physical comedy embrace and embracing your character, all the attributes and the things you can embody in them. It was really fun because you get to like act, but not really like saying words. You basically act like with your body, and it was really fun and really challenging at the same time. Even though I'm a dancer, I've never really taken any tap classes outside of school. And so I was put into an intra-level tap class, which at first surprised me, but it ended up being amazing. And I'm really happy I did it. I learned a lot of stuff that I didn't know before. And that tap history is black history because 
black people created that. Yeah, later it matched with Irish principles, and that's great, but that form is because we needed to speak to each other. And from there, now we get to celebrate it as togetherness. I learned that it's not about performing it, more so making music with tap, which I had no idea about. So we were making music in what I thought would be a dance class. So in Prop It Up, we helped with props for uh, Newsies, and it was really fun because I painted some of the stage, and I used a sewing machine, and I haven't used a sewing machine like in a while, so it was really fun to sew some clothes and some pants. Yeah. So we're going to do this table, we're going to do that lovely table over there, uh, and we're going to do this now. lovely table over here. I'm in Newsies, so we have set builds, and it, Prop It Up is basically like a very structured version of said build. <laughs> they, you actually get assigned jobs and they teach you what to do and then they, you kind of go off and you do it and it's, it's an opportunity to not only build props and help out with the drama club but it's also an opportunity to kind of talk to people and get to know people. I took improv. <laughs> We first got warmed up with some name games, getting getting used to people's names so you can easily call on them when you're doing certain exercises. There was one lady that really stuck out to me. She taught our improv class. She went here and now she's out there doing what we all want to do. But I say push yourself, challenge yourself, go to those auditions. Treat yourself like a professional and then you'll be seen as one. College is not too far away, so having those people come in and show us what they do for work, these are things that we aspire to do for work as well. So it gives us really an inside look. It's always great to have someone to look up to. People with experience can help other people with no experience. We learn from other people and we learn from doing. And with Symposium, we got both of those things. <laughs> 